Hi, this is I from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another book to read for you. Today book is The Bearsing Bear, Bedtime Battle from 2005. So let's get started. Every morning, the members of the bear family wakes with a smile. They patiently takes turns with their morning wash-up. They got through breakfast without so much as a harsh word. Things always went well at lunch and dinner, but at but as the sun sets and the moon rise, a change come over the big tree house down a sunny dirt, wait, sunny dirt road deep in bear country. The birds become alarmed in their nest. The ears of the scores perks up. Even the ladybug decide not to fly away home. By 8 o'clock, all eyes was on that big treehouse. Why? Because the great bedtime battle was about to begin. It began with a simple statement from Papa Bear. It's 8 o'clock, Cubs. Time for bed. Bedtime already, said Brother Bear. Jeez, I'm just getting my the Jurassic Dinosaur lined up to fight my... Other dinosaurs. That's all very well, said Papa, but quite aside from the fact that they could never have fought because they lived millions of years apart. It happened to be bedtime. But nobody goes to bed at eight o'clock anymore, protest brother. Beside I'm older than sister, so I should be allowed to stay up later. That's not fair, says sister. It's not my fault that I'm younger than brother. That's enough fussing, said Papa. Eight o'clock at bedtime and eight o'clock. So up to bed we go. Not just yet, there, said Mama. Not until they picked up all their toys. But Mama, says sister, my stuffed animals are all set up for a tea party. It's way past tea. Wait, wait, it's way past tea time, said Mama. Everything must be picked up and put away. Stuff animals, dinosaur, everything. Okay, said Brother with a sigh. And ever so slowly, Brother and Sister began to pick up their toys. Don't look now, said Mama to Papa. But at the rate they are going, we'll be down here for another hour. Hmm, said Papa. I see what you mean. Hey, game, he said. Let's have some fun. Let's see how fast we can pick up toy contests. But the cubs just kept on picking up toys even so slowly. By the time Papa won the contest, he was exhausted. Okay, said Papa, now up to bed. Papa's his sister. Yes, said Papa. Do you remember when we were little and you used to piggyback us upstairs on your back like a horsey? Yes, said Papa, but you're not so little anymore. Please, Papa, please, cried sister. If I must, groan Papa. Hi, wait, hi, yo, Papa shouted the cubs as they rode upstairs on the back of the horsey Papa. Less noise, please. Sure, mother. Oh, Mama, I just put the baby honey to sleep. All right, cubs, said Papa, as he reached the top, huffing and puffing, off at your clothes and into the tub. Last one. In and the dirty bird shouted brother and he and sister raced down the hall throwing off their clothes tub toys tub toys shouted the cubs and mama filled the tub not so many she protests 
My brother had five, cried sister, and I only have four. Bedtime, now bath time isn't play time, said Papa. Only one toy to a customer. Bubble bath, bubble bath, cried sister. Papa, said Mama, with a sigh. You do the bubble bath while I get their bath robes. Just read the instruction on the bottle. Mama went to the cub's room, laid out their pajamas, and got their bathroom. But when she head back when she headed back to the bathroom, a strange sign greeted her eyes. Oh my goodness, Papa, what have you done? cried Mama. The bathroom was filled with thousands and thousands of pink bubbles. I just followed the instructions, he said. I poured in a cup full just as it said. But if you look more closely, said Mama, you see that it, it says cap full, not cup full. After a while, the bubble was gone, and all that was left was a slippery pink goo. Be careful, dear, said Mama, as she rinsed the cups with the shower attachment. The floor is quite slippery, but her warning came too late. Ah, shouted Papa, and he crashed to the floor. Mama helped him up. Then she rubbed the cub, dried with a big nubby towel, and they got into their bathrobe. Next stop, said Mama, brushing your teeth. The one above, the one beneath. Not that old white toothpaste, persists, brother. Nobody use white toothpaste anymore, brother. Right, said sister. Lizzie had red, white, and blue toothpaste. And cousin Fred had purple toothpaste, said brother. However, said Papa, for the time being, we have white toothpaste. And with that, he squeezed the tube too hard and a big white snake shot out. Finally, the cubs were all fresh and clean and in their pajamas and ready for bed. All right, said Papa, into bed with you. And I don't want any if and or buts. But don't you want us to say our prayers, asked sister? And how about our bedtime story, said brother? Go ahead and say your prayers, said mama. By all means, said papa. Breast mama, breast papa, breast honey bear, breast little lady, breast kitty, breast grizzly grimp, breast grizzly grant. Here are the bedtime stories I want, said sister. The three little kittens, said brother, not that Nimby Pamby story. Here's the real story, the three Billy Goats Gruff. No way, cried sister, that awful chose gave me nightmares. Please, said mama, there's no need to fuss. It's very simple. I'll read the little kittens to sister, and papa would read the three Billy Goat Griff to brother. So brother got comfortable on Papa lap, and sister got comfortable on Mama lap. But it been quite a battle, and as they began to read, Mama and Papa eyes started closing. Soon as they was fast asleep, sister slipped down off Mama lap. Brother slipped down off Papa lap. Look, says sister, they fell asleep. What should we do? Let them sleep, said brother. They need their rest. So that was the Bears Human Bears Bedtime Battle from 2005. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day with another video coming out real soon.